binary tree a binary tree is a tree in which every node can have at most two children so so let's say this is binary tree what does it say it is a tree in which every node can have at most two children so the number of children a node can have can range from 0 1 or 2 it can't go above 2 so let me give an example of this So this is an example of a binary tree. Every node has at most two children. A has two children, B has one child and C and D have zero children. So the number of children of any node cannot go beyond two. So this is an example of a binary tree. Now there are different variations to this binary tree. So let's look at what a full binary tree is. A full binary tree is going to be a binary tree in which every node other than the leaves have exactly two children. So now the only acceptable no number of children for any node is going to be exactly 2. So what is this? Every node except the leaves have exactly 2 children. So, the example I have given for binary tree is not going to be a full binary tree. It is a binary tree because it has at most two children, but it's not a full binary tree because B only has one child and it is not a leaf node. So, an example of a full binary tree would be something like this. So let's look at which nodes are not going to be the leaf nodes. A and B are not leaf nodes and A has two children, B has two children. So it is going to be a full binary tree. In fact even if the node D had two children say F and G this is also going to be a full binary tree because D which is not a leaf node again has exactly two children. Now let's take a look at what a balanced binary tree is. So we have to see what is a balanced binary tree. So for a binary tree to be balanced, no two siblings can have a height difference of more than one. So let's see what I mean by this using an example. So what have I said? I have said that no two siblings can have a height difference of more than one. So taking an example Let's say I have this tree. Now the first thing I need to do to check whether this is a balanced binary tree is to find out the height of all the nodes. So let's start by doing that. D, E and C are going to be leaf nodes so they will have a height of 0. B will have a height of 1. 
A will have a height of 2, which is one more than the maximum height of its children, which is 1. So these are going to be the heights of the different nodes in the tree. Now we have to look at sibling nodes. D and E come from the same parent, so they are siblings. Height of D is 0, height of E is 0. What is the difference in height? 0. So 0 is not more than 1, so it is fine. We go to the next level. B and C. What is the difference in height between B and C? The difference in height between B and C is going to be 1. 1 is still not more than 1, so it's fine. We can go to the next level. At the next level, we have A, which is the root, which does not have any siblings. So, we say that this tree is going to be balanced at every level, so it is a balanced binary tree. Let me take an example of a non-balanced binary tree. So, let's take this example. A, B, C. So this is going to be a binary tree. Let's write down all the heights. F, G, E and C are going to be leaf nodes. So they will have a height of 0. D is going to have a height of 1. B has to choose between D and D or between 1 and 0. It will choose the maximum and add 1 to it. So B is having a height of 2. And A will have a height of 3. Now let's look at every level. F and G are siblings. The difference in height between F and G is 0. That's not more than 1. We can go to the next level. D and E are siblings from the parent B. The height difference is going to be 1. 1 is still not more than 1, so we can go to the next level. B and C are siblings from the parent A. In this case, the height difference between B and C is equal to 2. 2 is more than 1. So, there is an imbalance at this level of the tree. So, this is where the imbalance is detected. So, this tree is not going to be balanced. Why? Because the height difference between the siblings B and C is going to be 2, which is more than 1. With this, we come to the end of a basic introduction to binary trees and its variations.